we are taking up the third question here so r power n a power n cos n theta r power n b power n sin n theta so both the problems both the equations will be doing simultaneously so we have to prove here show that the pairs of curves intersect each other orthogonally so two methods are given the first method is to find the phi 1 and phi 2 value and find the difference between those two if we are getting the difference as pi by 2 then we can say that the curves intersect each other orthogonally the second method is also there which is to find the reciprocal of cot which we will be getting so tan phi 1 into tan phi 2 right if we are getting the value as minus 1 then we can say that both the curves are intersecting orthogonally so let us go with the method first procedure so we have to take the log so taking log on both sides so it will be log of r power n is equal to log of a power n cos n theta okay next coming to this part it will be log of r power n is equal to log of b power n sin n theta okay this part is done we have to simplify this particular thing see a power n and cos n theta both are in multiplication form right so both can be so it can be written in the form of what log m into n is equal to log m plus log n so this particular function log r power n is equal to log a power n plus log cos n theta okay so here next log r power n is equal to log b power n plus log of sin n theta okay but one more formula one more property will apply we have to understand that log m power n is equal to a power b n power n whatever power is there then it can be written as n log m so this particular formula will apply here so it will become n will come in front of logarithmic function so n log r is equal to n log a will be there plus log of what cos n theta this is the one formula is there right another thing will apply which is n log r is equal to n log b plus log of sin n theta done after simplification we can go for the next step it is nothing but differentiating with respect to theta n log r okay so n is a constant log r differentiation will be what 1 by r so i can write n by r into dr by d theta why dr by d theta because we are differentiating with respect to theta not r so again that particular r see log x differentiation is 1 by x right but there it is differentiation with respect to x if, if here the differentiation is with respect to r then it is only 1 by r okay but here it is with respect to theta equal to now n log a now n is a constant as i said a is also a constant r is not a constant r is a since we are dealing with polar curves r is a variable right so this particular function becomes zero because differentiation of constant is zero now log of cos n theta that can be written as one by cos n theta but this is not over cos n theta again we have to differentiate with respect to theta next n log r again the same thing 1 by r so n is there so n by r i will write dr by d theta is equal to this b is constant n is constant whole thing constant 0 plus log of sin n theta differentiation will be 1 by sin n theta into differentiation of that particular sin n theta with respect to theta so n by r dr by d theta as it is equal to cos n theta differentiation cos theta differentiation is sin theta but here n theta is there so i have to differentiate n theta also it will become n so it, it can be written as minus n sin n theta divided by cos n theta see how i got this differentiation of cos n theta will be what sin n theta but in place of theta i am having n theta 
so n theta again differentiation it will be n right so that particular function sorry cos differentiation is minus n so minus n sin theta so it will be 1 by r dr by d theta is equal to so sin n theta will be what cos n theta again n theta differentiation n so i'll put it in front divided by sin n theta now from here this sign this sign gone from here this sign and this sign also gone right so what is left out now is equal to now sin by cos can be written as tan now why we have to write that because see 1 by r dr by d theta is what cot phi so cot phi here i'll take phi 1 is equal to minus tan n theta don't forget about n n theta is there now here also same thing 1 by r dr by d theta can be written as cot phi i will do i will take phi 2 cos by sin is what cot so i have to write it as cot n theta now here cot and cot is that you can directly get the value of cot uh, sorry phi 2 is equal to what n theta simple what about phi 1 phi 1 how to get tan can be converted into which form minus tan theta can be written as cot of 90 plus theta very simple formula so here also cot is there so cot and cot gone what is phi 1 value you are getting pi by 2 plus n theta now the thing is that how i got this see this particular thing remember that cot 90 plus theta we know it is minus tan theta this particular formula has been applied see? now after getting phi 1 and phi 2 values now we can get the angle of intersection formula we can apply otherwise we had second method also that we will discuss first we will do this well so angle of intersection formula phi 1 minus phi phi 1 minus phi 2 is equal to what is the value you're getting phi 1 value is pi by 2 plus n theta minus phi 2 value is n theta so this n theta n theta cancel what you are getting pi by 2 so as i said if you are getting phi 1 minus phi 2 value as pi by 2 we can see that the, in the curves intersect each other orthogonally the second this is the first method second method is also there what you would have, you would have done after getting cot phi 1 just to take the reverse of that inverse of that here also you would have done this method step also you would have done see what happens okay i'll take this step okay anyways any step you take you'll be getting the same answer okay i'll take from here so this cot phi 1 equal to this part i can write so tan phi 1 becomes what tan phi 1 is reciprocal of this that means cos n theta by minus sin n theta right what is tan phi 2 value tan phi 2 value is reciprocal of this it will be sin n theta divided by cos n theta now if i multiply these two tan phi 1 and tan phi 2 what i'll be getting this sin n theta sin n theta cancel cos n theta cos n theta cancel what i'll be getting i'll be getting the answer as minus sin is equal to minus 1 this is the second method any method you can do just to multiply tan phi 1 tan phi 2 so you can avoid this particular thing step okay this way also you can find the answer so hence write the final statement the curves intersect each other orthogonally